as you can see, the police were out front of my house at 5.30 this morning. Um, I'm an early riser. Um, I let Pal out around quarter to five in the morning. Uh, he goes out, does his business, comes in. I leave the screen door open, but I leave it locked. And I'm in the kitchen making some tea because I love my tea in the morning. And remember, I've only been up 10 minutes now. And Pal starts to growl. And I hear him growling. And the growling's getting a little bit louder. And then he starts to really bark. Like, like, like I know something's up. So at this point, I put down, or I, I uh, put my uh, teacup down. And I go towards the door. And as I'm going towards the door... He's getting louder and more aggressive, and the hair up on his back is crazy. Then I actually watch this guy knock on my door, and I'm thinking, what the hell is this guy doing? But, you know, it's it's 4.53 in the morning at this point, so I know something's up. I, I, I end up going and picking something up and for my protection and bringing it to the door, and basically what happens is, he walks away before I get to the door, but Pal's still freaking out. He's looking towards the car. I open the door. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, man? What do you want? He starts to walk back towards me, and I say, that's enough. Stay there. Don't come any closer, or I'm letting my dog out. So he backs up a bit, and he says to me, I need a ride. I said, you're knocking on my door at 5 o'clock in the morning for a ride? I said, buddy, there's cameras all over this house. And if you don't get out of this property right now, I'm letting my dog go. And I'm telling you, you guys, Pal is... I've never seen Pal... This is the worst I've ever seen Pal act since I've owned him. He was... He wanted out that door so bad you wouldn't believe. Anyway, the guy does end up leaving, but... I realized that what he had in his hand, if you look closely, almost looks like a sword. I mean, who knows what that guy was up to? All I can say is, thank God for Pal and Pal's instincts. I trust my dog's instincts more than I trust my own instincts. God's honest truth, you guys.